Hi friends, uh, today I will show you how to install an SAP NetViewer Gateway on front-end server. Uh, basically, um, on your front-end server, some, some components have to be available as part of your SAP NetViewer Gateway installation. So for example, if you run SAP NetViewer 7.31 uh, on your front-end server, so you have to install uh, gateway underscore core, SAP, IWFND, and IWPGW, IW underscore BEP as a, a couple of uh, additional add-ons to be installed. If you run SAP Network 7.4 on your front-end server, uh, it, like we don't need to uh, install anything because the Gateway Foundation and SAP underscore UI add-ons will become by default. So only um, IW underscore PGW uh, process gateways add-on is required uh, for 7.4 version. Um, so let's uh, start with the installation of SAP NetViewer Gateway. Um, prior to that, we need to make sure uh, we have already downloaded um, uh, uh, NetViewer Gateway software from Service Marketplace. Uh, the tool software provisioning manager to install SAP NetViewer Gateway and uh, kernel and installation export and the Cybers database. So, uh, as you can see, um, you know, we have already downloaded the stuff and uh, all the media is ready and uh, I'm good to start with this uh, installation. Let's open SWPM folder and uh, scroll down and click on sapnc.exe file. So the software provisioning tool opens up and it gives you uh, to you know to start the installation so as you can see uh, the tool has been open so from here uh, we can uh, select uh, the right version so let's expand SAP Network 7.4 support release 2. Our database is a Cybers database, so SAP ASC. Expand preparations. Let's run prerequisites check now. So select first three checkboxes uh, as it's in our ABAP server. So Cybers database by default. So just click on next. And just click on next. And give the path for the kernel where we have already downloaded point of the label.asc file click on ok click on next you can see the summary just click on next here so the prerequisite checks is running Make sure your result code for all the uh, results here uh, says OK. The first first condition um, doesn't meet because of some issue. So that is not related to our operating system. So we can ignore that and we can continue. Just click on OK. Now let's run again so SWPM to start the standard installation. So we have met all the conditions, uh, prerequisites uh, to make sure our system is configured properly with the backend hardware infrastructure and stuff like that. So now let's run uh, SWPM tool. Expand SAP NetViewer 7.4 support release 2. Expand SAP AAC. Expand SAP systems, expand application server ABAP, standard system. So some environments you also have a distributed environment, so you can either choose either it is a distributed and standard. In our case, it's just a sandbox installation, so I'm choosing a standard system.
can choose custom click on next give uh, give your SID in my case I just give FIO for Fiori sandbox system and if you have a domain name you can set otherwise you can just uncheck the box and uh, click on next and mention the path for the kernel enter the master password uh, which you decide So this master password will be uh, for all your, you know, CDDM, um, SA users and all that. So it will take for all uh, for all your users, which SAP creates. So it takes the same master password into consideration. So either you can choose local domain or domain of current user but in, in real-time landscape it is always a domain of current user but as it is uh, just a sandbox I have chosen local domain so uh, as you can see the master password has taken by default so you don't need to do anything just click on next Just click on next here it takes a database administrator password so in this case it is a Cybase database so SID is FIO so it's like Cybman uh, SYB FIO as a user so you can ignore this uh, prerequisite check Just click on next give the path for the database now it uh, just navigate this a minute view 7.4 and point of the label.ac file click on ok and click on next here and also give the path for installation export so I'm ignoring as it is just a sandbox So all these default values will be uh, okay because it, it takes for logs, temps and data devices for SAP. So just click on next and here as well. So those are all default ports which has been mentioned and these are all the default users, database users and the password for all it is the master password. So physical memory it is required is just a 3.5 gig RAM. So in our case we have a good enough RAM. Just click on next. So either you can enable declustering or deep pooling for fall ABAP tables, or you, or else you can also choose do not decluster or deep pool ABAP tables. For more information, it has been it has been mentioned in 189.235.4 SAP note, so you can check according to your requirements of your infrastructure landscape SAP landscape. 
please refer to the note for more details so the default panel jobs is three so just click on next next here as well either you can choose a different instance number or take it take the default as a granted and here it is our master password if your system if your SSL is already set up then you can provide these entries uh, if not you can just choose no SLD destination and you can define it later as well this secure storage key individual key is required uh, so it's always uh, so it's always the best practice to uh, make a copy of it and save it just click on okay the parts were archives click on next if you want to install diagnostic agent you can so please check all the summary uh, if there is anything needs to be changed then you can change it by selecting its respective checkbox and uh, <clears throat> provide the details accordingly so right now for me for just a sandbox server which is a very small server so it seems like pretty much uh, okay so I'll just click on next to start the installation so as you can see uh, the database as so the SAP network gateway installation has been started and it will this will take uh, a couple of hours uh, so the maximum number of hours it took for a simple installation is uh, three to four hours of uh, um, you know with very good uh, configuration so once uh, once uh, all these 41 steps are done so it is it will just prompt you with a message saying that the installation has been completed so that is it uh, SAP Network 7.4 gateway is very very simple straightforward uh, installation uh, very small installation I would say and uh, once the uh, installation has been completed uh, in in our next session we will check we will see what are the pro steps to be configured and uh, how how should be uh, how it should be configured and all those things so uh, thank you guys thank you very much